I've actually been developing games forever, and one of, one of the biggest problems our industry has always faced is that we reinvent the camera and basically all the other parts and pieces of making games from scratch basically every time, and that's been the problem early on. And I've always compared it to the movie industry's first few decades where they also had to invent you know, what the size of a frame of film was and flicker rates and even how long a movie to make. We were in that same era largely for the last 30 years. And maybe about 10 years ago, we began to see a few of the first good 3D render pipelines. So, uh, you know, you can choose your favorite of the, of the year or two that they survived. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but you at least could get one piece of this important problem solved if, uh, if you were competing on something other than that cutting edge piece of render uh, pipeline. Uh, but, the, but the integrated development environment has still, in my mind, been elusive. And every time I've even seen ourselves or any of my peers try to go use it, I think that the, the pain has often been uh, a reasonable measure of the total game. In other words, where it might have been a good decision, maybe, it wasn't an obviously, importantly, powerfully uh, superior answer uh, to go that way until Unity. And when our team decided to adopt Unity, honestly, I'm far enough out of coding and far enough out of the on the front lines development that I, you know, allowed them to do their research and make their decision. But I had no personal opinion about the quality of that decision at the time that it was made. I, 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 I have to confess. However, I then got the Unity work environment on my own desktop, and while I never expected to be able to easily at or at all re-enter the development side of the team and do actual direct development into the data that we're building across the, the game. Just watching over people's shoulders or getting them to give me a few demos every now and then about how to you know, ass, you know import art, assemble it into uh, objects, put those objects back on the game, build uh, the, the terrain out, things of this nature. It was immediately ob obvious to me the power of these tools. Uh, it was obvious that the true object-oriented nature of the of the structure was was pervasive. It was obvious that the commands and user, user interface through all parts of the application are standardized really well. Uh, you know, and again, compared to space things being built internally, they're all just you know hacked together, and you have, you have to learn the tool and every every idiosyncrasy of the tool you have to learn. And it was obvious this has really been appropriately the exact opposite extreme, where it's, it it adheres to its own internal standards throughout with great care. The speed with which every person on my team has been able to work to build the Shroud of the Avatar prototype was astounding. My ability to be able to actually directly contribute and build maps and edit maps and communicate back to the team was astounding. Even since we put this prototype together, the stuff we're still doing, I'm just, every day I'm amazed at how, how quickly this team is making progress in a way that I've never seen before in any of the games I've been working on. And then the, if that wasn't enough, the re resulting quality is top notch, and so uh, it's the first time I've ever seen, uh, you know, a, a frontline AAA development team and product and set of goals come into line with a AAA integrated development environment uh, the, with this level of power. So, anyway, I'm I'm truly a uh, complete. Uh, convert and count me in as an evangelist. And I'm telling you, if you're making games, you need to use Unity.